Know the Facts presents Interesting Facts About India India is the cradle of the human race, the birthplace of human speech, the mother of history, the grandmother of legend and the great-grandmother of tradition. Our most valuable and most instructive materials in the history of man are treasured up in India only. These are not our words. These are the words of the great Mark Twain. And here are some facts to support his statement. A floating post office. India has the largest postal network in the world with over 1,55,015 post offices. A single post office on an average serves a population of 7,175 people. The floating post office in Dal Lake, Srinagar was inaugurated in August 2011. Kumbh Mela Gathering Visible from Space The 2011 Kumbh Mela was the largest gathering of people with over 75 million pilgrims. The gathering was so huge that the crowd was visible from space. The wettest inhabited place in the world Mosinram, a village on the Khasi Hills, Meghalaya, receives the highest recorded average rainfall in the world. Chirapunji, also a part of Meghalaya, holds a record for the most rainfall in the calendar year of 1861. Bandra Wurley Sea Link has steel wires equal to the Earth's circumference. It took a total of 2 crore 57 lakh man hours for completion and also weighs as much as 50,000 African elephants. A true engineering and architectural marvel. The highest cricket ground in the world. At an altitude of 2,444 meters, the Chael Cricket Ground in Chael, Himachal Pradesh is the highest in the world. It was built in 1893 and is a part of the Chael Military School. Shampooing is an Indian concept. Shampoo was invented in India, not the commercial liquid ones, but the method by use of herbs. The word shampoo itself has been derived from the Sanskrit word champu, which means massage. The Indian national kabaddi team has won all World Cups. India has won all five men's kabaddi World Cups held till now and have been undefeated throughout these tournaments. The Indian women's team has also won all Kabaddi World Cups held till date. Water on Moon was discovered by India. In September 2009, India's Isro Chandrayaan-1, using its Moon Mineralogy Mapper, detected water on the Moon for the first time. Science Day in Switzerland is dedicated to ex-Indian President APJ Abdul Kalam. The father of India's missile program had visited Switzerland back in 2006. Upon his arrival, Switzerland declared May 26 as Science Day. India's first president only took 50% of his salary. When Dr. Rajendra Prasad was appointed the president of India, he only took 50% of his salary, claiming he did not require more than that. Towards the end of his 12-year tenure, he only took 25% of his salary. The salary of a president was rupees 10,000 back then. The first rocket in India was transported on a cycle. The first rocket was so light and small that it was transported on a bicycle to the Tumba launching station in Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala. India has a spa just for elephants. Elephants receive baths, massages and even food at a Punatur Kota Elephant Yard Rejuvenation Centre in Kerala. Now, that's a big step for the country. India is the world's second largest English-speaking country. India is second only to US when it comes to speaking English with around 125 million people speaking the language, which is only 10% of our population. This is expected to grow by quite a margin in the coming years. Largest number of vegetarians in the world 
be it because of religious reasons or personal choices or both. Around 20 to 40 percent of Indians are vegetarians, making it the largest vegetarian-friendly country in the world. The world's largest producer of milk. India recently overtook the European Union with producing milk over 132.4 million tons in 2014. The first country to consume sugar. India was the first country to develop extraction and purifying techniques of sugar. Many visitors from abroad learn the refining and cultivation of sugar from us. The Human Calculator Shakuntala Devi was given this title after she demonstrated the calculation of two 13-digit numbers 7686-369-774-870 multiplied by 2465-099. 745779, which were picked at random. She answered correctly within 28 seconds. Rabindranath Tagore also wrote the national anthem for Bangladesh. Rabindranath Tagore is credited not only for writing the Indian national anthem Janagana Mana, but the Bangladeshi national anthem Amar Sonar Bangla as well. He was also offered knighthood by the British but refused the honour after the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Dhyanchand was offered German citizenship. After defeating Germany 8-1 in the 1936 Berlin Olympics, Major Dhyanchand, the wizard of hockey, was summoned by Hitler. He was promised German citizenship, a high post in the German military and the chance to play for German national side. Dhyanchand, however, declined the offer. Freddie Mercury and Ben Kingsley are both of Indian descent. Freddie Mercury, the legendary singer of the rock band Queen, was born as a Parsi with the name Farooq Bulsara, while the famous Oscar-winning Hollywood star Ben Kingsley was born Krishna Pandit Bhanji. Astronaut Rakesh Sharma said India looks sare jahan se acha from space. Former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi asked the first Indian in space, Rakesh Sharma, about how India looked from space. His response was our famous patriotic song, Sare Jahan Se Acha. Havels is purely an Indian brand, named after its first owner. Though the company was bought for just 10 lakh rupees a long time ago and is now a multi-billion electrical goods company, it's an Indian company and is still named after its original owner, Haveli Ram Gupta. Diamonds were first mined in India. Initially, diamonds were only found in alluvial deposits in Guntur and Krishna district of the Krishna River Delta. Until diamonds were found in Brazil during the 18th century, India led the world in diamond production. A special polling station is set up for a lone voter in the middle of Gir forest. Mahant Bharat Das Darshan Das has been voting since 2004 and during every election since then, a special polling booth is set up exclusively for him as he is the only voter from Banej in Gir forest. Snakes and ladders originated in India. Earlier known as Moksha Patamu, the game was initially invented as a moral lesson about karma to be taught to children. It was later commercialized and has become one of the most popular board games in the world. Please subscribe for more videos.